minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Dalrymple, um, how long have you been at the IRS? Sorry. I've been at the IRS for a total of about 30, 30, 33 and a half years. Um, I had a stint there, retired, and I've come oh, back. Two tours. And what are your responsibilities exactly? My responsibilities include all of the enforcement activities at the IRS, examination, collection, criminal investigation, all of the customer service activities, including telephone services, submission processing. Um, Ta do you deal with the tax exempt division? The tax exempt division is part of. Um, In your two tours at the IRS, did you have any overlap with Ms. Lerner? Uh, actually, I think I overlapped with Ms. Lerner for about three months. Just just a short time. Okay. Uh, and do you report directly to the Commissioner, or, or is there someone between you report I directly do. to the Commissioner? Okay. Now, my understanding of Mr. Dodaro's report, there is a $385 billion tax gap. Is that accurate? You agree with that, what, what they concluded? We are we're going to put out a new tax gap report that actually you disagree? Now, now on the end of the, the year, and, and that figure is going to be, uh, will we'll be adjusted based on the new information we have, but it is not going to change dramatically. So he's he's yeah. close. Yes, yes. All right, yes. and then he has 112 recommendations, right? I understand there's 112 recommendations for Treasury to implement to help deal with that fact that we're not collecting 385 billion dollars. I'm not certain how many of the recommendations are are exactly on point with the um, uh, tax gap, but I overall recommendations that they recommend that Treasury and IRS implement. Uh, actually, I believe that there's uh, how many are there, Mr. Dodaro? I believe the 112 figure is correct. 112, okay. And is it, is it true, Mr. Dalrymple, that you only implemented about 50, 70 remain un, un, you know, you haven't dealt with them, haven't implemented, unimplemented? We have, uh, we have un, unimplemented um, or partially addressed um, actions without, without question. Mr. Dodaro, how many have they put in place? There's still about uh, 63 percent that need to be implemented. So less than half. They've, they've implemented less than half to deal with this, this huge tax, tax gap. Um, changing the subject somewhat. So uh, you're in charge of enforcement. Do you, do you know anything, Mr. Dalrymple, about the Stingray technology? I know uh, about the uh, I know the technology exists. I know that we uh, have employed it um, in certain circumstances. How many times the IRS used this technology that mimics a cell phone tower, grabs up everyone in that particular area's cell phone data and gives the IRS, the same IRS that targeted people, access to people in that geographic location, the IRS knows where they are at and their cell, no, uh, uh, cell number and cell information. How, how many times has the IRS used that technology? I uh, would have to come back with the exact number. I think it is about 37 times. 37 times. And in those 37 times, did you, do you know if the IRS got a warrant to use that technology? In every instance, we would have had some sort of court. Uh, Not what I asked. Court. Did you get a warrant, probable cause warrant? I, again, I would have to come back to you on that. Can you get that back to me? Certainly. Does the IRS have a nondisclosure with the FBI? Uh, not disclosing that it's actually used. So when you employed it and you supposedly grabbed somebody who's, you know, not paid their taxes or whatever you're trying to get, did you disclose to them that you use Stingray technology to get them? Do we disclose it to the FBI? No. Do you have a non Do you have an agreement with the FBI that says you will not disclose to the individual that you're using the technology to, I assume, get information from or maybe get that individual, not disclose to them or their counsel? Uh, I, again, I'd have to answer that for the record. I'm not certain. That's uh, okay. We'd appreciate that as well. And do you know if the IRS has received the Jones memo that the Justice Department put together, outlining how you will deal with Stingray, how a federal agencies will deal with Stingray technology as we move forward? The Jones. I'm not familiar with the Jones memorandum. I'd, again, I'd have to uh, get back to you. On okay. That. So those those four things. How many sure. times you've used it? Did you get a warrant? Probable cause warrant, not just something else or whatever right. that that. that the, IRS says they may be sufficient or, based on what courts have said, is not sufficient. Do you have a nondisclosure with the FBI and uh, have you received the Jones uh, memo? We will get back to you on all four of those. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the gentleman. And I want to add one thing to that. And